But yeah, the Pokemon that we're gonna build around today is Mothim. A Pokemon that's never seen play in any format for any reason. Everyone's like, Mothim, I don't even know how you get this thing. And you know me. Like, I like my Butterfreeze. I like my Vivalons. I like my Beautifuls. This is close enough. You know what I mean? It's close enough. And the reason I wanted to build around Mothim, I was actually talking about in the Discord. Uh, there's a link to the Discord right here. Everyone can join. There'll be a Discord link everywhere. Everyone should be joining the Discord. Right? It's completely free. There's tons of talk that goes down in there. If you guys want to get better for Sword and Shield, that's the place to be if we're being realistic. But yeah, I was talking about this set on this Mothim, and the set we're going to be showing off today is a set that you guys can use in all your own teams, and it's a set that I've used going all the way back to like Gen 4, like well, like over 10 years ago, and it's just a set that is not very commonly commonly used, and I've always been curious, like, why? And that is a Choice Scarf set, and you're like, that's a Choice Scarf's like the best item in the game, right? Choice Scarf's like the best item in the game. It multiplies your speed by 1.5, and it makes you so fast, and you can hit so fast, and it's so good. Remember, we're going to put Tinted Lens, because this Pokemon's attacks, they're not very effective on target deal, double damage, so it's actually a really good ability. But, uh, yeah, Choice Scarf set, we've all seen a Choice Scarf set before. The way it works is, you know, you put all your points in speed, you slap that Choice Scarf around there, and you pick one of these two offensive stats, and you just max it out, and that's the easiest Choice Scarf set in the world, right? That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. Look at Mothim, right? It has 66 base speed. So if I was actually to put, like, all my points in speed, right? If I were to put all my points in speed, uh, just do this right here, it actually, like, gets pretty fast. You know, uh, after a scarf, like, 66 is a decent number, uh, especially, like, uh, if you factor in, like, tailwinds and stuff. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good number for speed. But that's not what we're going to do. Mothim has a pretty unique speed turn, but what we're going to be looking at is Mothim's uh, special attack and attack. They're the same number. And so Mothim's a great example of a Pokemon that can pull off this set. Obviously, it isn't the best example, but the set that we're going to be using today is a set that really maxes out both of the offensive stats and just throws a Scarf on it. The Scarf, Mothim has just enough speed to outspeed regular Pokemon. And so the whole point of this little gimmick here is to make your opponents think that you're Scarfed, which you are Scarfed, right? But then they're like, they're going to use their special walls to block your special attacks and your physical walls to block your physical attacks, but you have both at your disposal. It's like the best of both worlds mixed attacker. This was originally a Salamence set uh, when I originally made it back in the day because Salamence has 100 base speed. Uh, it has a above average special attack, a really high base attack. And so you could do this type of set with that Pokemon. And so we're not going to be do doing 252, but you guys get the idea. We're going to be going for a mix sweeper that makes your opponent think, okay, that's Scarf. Next time uh, I have to fight that thing, I'm going to use whatever type of wall I have to wall its attacks, and then you hit it when it's acceptable. So, like, uh, the example I used back in the day, uh, I used to use this on, like, a Metagross set, right? So a better example was using this on, like, a Metagross. So let's, just, let's just look at Metagross to show you guys how this set really works. So look, look at Metagross here, right? Look at Metagross's stats here. They're not, like, amazing, right? But if you put a scarf on it, if you put a scarf on it, it gets like a big speed boost. So you maybe, maybe you need like 30 points of speed. Who really knows? Who really knows? But yeah, if you were to aim, if, look at this base 95 special attack. That's not bad, chat. That's not bad. So if you go like this, and you go like this, the example I used in Discord, right? Uh, if you send out uh, Metagross, right? And you slap a choice scarf on it, and, uh, you know, you can revenge KO like a Zapdos with like a Meteor Mash when they're like 30-40%. So you're, even though it's a resisted move, you're doing just enough damage to uh, KO it because you're using your full attack stat, right? And you're also doing, um, what is it? You're, do, you're doing just enough damage to revenge KO something that you need full attack investment to KO, right? So they're like, all right, that's a Scarf Metagross. It shouldn't be faster than my Zapdos and it's full attack. So then they think to themselves, the next time that they actually have to fight, uh, this Metagross, they're going to be using their big physical wall. So the next time they want to use this Metagross, they want next time they want to fight this Metagross, they're going to be sending out their full HP defense invested, like, Cresselia. And they're going to be like, all right, my guy, now, now try Meteor Mash this. Like, it would take, like, 30% Mape tops, and it would, uh, it would take, like, 30% tops, and you get a Rocky Helmet tick. But that's when you hit him with the Signal Beam. That's when you hit him with the Signal Beam, 75 base, super effective bug move off this 95 base. Who knows? We could even be, like, a plus special attack nature that thing hits like a truck if they switch in on that it's just absolutely dumpstered so they think all right how is this metagross faster than my zapdos full attack investment and strong enough to like two to three shot my cresselia because they're ev trained to block physical attack using special attacks it completely like blows their mind and it's like Yu-Gi-Oh mind crush them super hard so that's what we're gonna be trying to do uh with this uh mothim set today 
Metagross is just a better example. I think Mothim's really cool because it has the exact same number in both of its offensive stats. That's why we're so, using yeah. it. Mothim, right? Got that choice scarf, got that tinted lens. I told you guys, we're going to go in full investment for the most part in both of these stats. Let's actually build the set. Let's actually build the set. I think the number one move you actually want to have on this guy is going to be U-Turn. I think you actually want U-Turn. That's your big physical attack. Uh, that is one physical attack. Normally with this type of set, you want to go like two physical attacks, two special attacks. Mothim actually has a lot more special attacks than physical attacks. So we'll see where this will go. Uh, I actually think we do want Shadow Ball. And I know that sounds weird, but it makes it a great Pokemon at checking like potential Leles and Lunala's especially. Like Stab U-Turn is nice. I know uh, Neve was talking in Discord about using Lunge here. Like Lunge is a pretty good move. Lunge can lower their attack by 180 base power. It's not bad, but it's not that great. Like, uh, it's it's not bad. It really is not bad, but I don't really think we need it. Uh, I think Electro Whip is actually a really unique move to put here. I think it's really unique to put Electro Whip there. We'll see if I can actually fit it. But we have our big bug move. We don't need Bug Buzz now because we got U-Turn. Uh, we have Shadow Ball. That's pretty good. Uh, we could put Air Slash on there. Air Slash is stabbed and has a percent chance to flinch. 30%, so that's pretty good. I think we are going to put the Air Slash. And I kind of want to put like a hidden power of some sort. I kind of do. I also want to put the psychic, but what am I psychic? -ing? Let's actually talk about that. What would I be using psychic on? A Moongus? Um, like maybe a fighting Pokemon? Like I can just air slash that and it's stabbed. So I don't really need psychic. I think the last move we're going to use. Um, what is it? I think I was just talking about it, wasn't I? Bug Bite's also a decent one. I think it's Electro Bob. I think we're just going to throw the Electro Bob on there. Like... Speed control, guys. Speed control is king. Speed control is king. So I think we're just gonna do that. You also, I also am a fan of tossing like Scarf Tailwind on Pokemon, and so the EV spread's gonna get a little bit dicey. I already ran the EV spread over here, so we're actually just gonna copy paste like that. U-turn, Air Slash, Electro Up, Shadow Ball. The EVs here do one thing very, very special, right? So the reason we have, we're even using the Speed Nature. We got Hasty. The reason we're using Hasty over something like uh, Naive uh, is because. If we're going to get hit by, like, a Flare Blitz from, like, an Incineroar or, like, you know, a Dragon's Ascent from Array, we're just going to go down anyways. But we almost have some sort of shot to live, like, a neutral Psychic from, like, something that's not in terrain. You know what I mean? We have a shot to live, like, an Icy Wind from a Feeny without just getting one-shotted. You know what I mean? Or, like, a Moon Blast or something. So, uh, those are more common and it's... If we're going to get hit with a physical attack, we're just going to get murked anyways. So it doesn't really matter what our defense looks like. And so you may be thinking, like, well, why do you have 100 points? And the Pokemon that we're outspeeding here is all base 95 Pokemon. Uh, if you really wanted to outspeed Togemaru as well, at like full speed Jolly Togemaru, you could put a couple more points in there because Togemaru is a 96. But this lets you outspeed Tapu Lele. And that's uh, not Scarf Lele, just a regular Lele. So anything base 95. And uh, if you were actually not put any points in speed you would still outspeed primals and base 90 so that's like things like uh you know groudon zekrom um kyogre reshiram all those 90 base speed pokemon you still outspeed even with nothing invested in speed but i really wanted to outspeed the lele and we just have 156 in here just so we can actually use the u-turn we, we don't actually need full attack investment here because we only use one physical attack so we just can go the 156 in there we have full special attack over there and it's going to be a great poke so yeah mothim and the last thing you want to check here is do you like the shiny the answer is no uh <laughs> this is the this is the correct correct one so yeah i i, I want to build this mothim team i don't have any other pokemon to go on it i just want to use mothim so what can we actually use to make mothim really good uh i actually think a groudon could go really well because mothim has that big like flying typing so we can switch out our groudons to fight other groudons and stuff like that so we're just gonna throw a groudon here groudon here and so what are we weak to right now we got bug weakness so we got weakness to like to rock uh we got weaknesses to electric uh so like groudon's a great pokemon to really like mitigate some of that let's see like do we just want to go zerndon i think we can actually get away with a little bit more i think we can get away with a little bit more with zerndon We'll come back to that. Let's just look at Pokemon in this format. I could actually go like a dual primal team. I think I could. I think I might actually just go dual primals. Let's go dual primals. And then we're going to have to have a dedicated Tailwind setter uh, that we would like to like use every game. I got to run. I'll catch the VOD later. Hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. I'll try my best to use those Pokemon. I could also go like a Dusk Mane there. I, I could go like Groudon Dusk Mane. Maybe that's actually a better idea. And like Lele. It's like a little bit of Psy Spam here. But I'm going to need some sort of Tailwind Setter. And I don't want to go like Drift Blim. What about Naganadel for Tailwind? 
I mean, we're really weak. I know, I know you said that before you actually can see the changes I've made, but like we're really weak to uh like Nagatel's not terrible. It's not. We're we'll throw it on there. I'm not a fan of this right now, but we'll see. We'll see if this works. Is this doubles or singles? This is VGC 2020 doubles. I think I'm actually gonna cut Nagatel for a Moongus. All right. Yeah, before you added side spam, it was better fit. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, we need a we need a tailwind setter. All right, I'm gonna go look at my handy dandy notebook, which is Pokemon database, and I'm gonna look up tailwind. What learns tailwind? I know Mothim can learn tailwind, but we're not gonna use that. I'd like a tailwind setter. I don't actually need it, but I'd like it. Dragon? Isn't it with this? Isn't this? Yeah. Does that work? Sheep, yeah, sheep, no, no, I don't, that's not aggressive. Sheep is so not aggressive. The Mence, uh, I like Hydreigon better than Mence. I mean, I guess I could use, like, Mega Mence, but I don't want to, you know? I think Hydreigon could be, like, super good. Yeah, we have, like, Zern check, Zern check, Zern check. Ampharos, Ampharos does not learn Tailwind. I think I'm gonna go this. I think I'm gonna go Hydreigon. I think Hydreigon's like really niche pick that provides like really good Lunala support here. All right, so let's start building up the rest of the team. Um, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. Just, I'm curious about something. I just want to know something. All right, this thing can't get Tailwind. I have a really cool set made for that Pokemon, but we'll see. Zapdos. Nah, Zapdos isn't great. I mean, Zapdos isn't great in this team. The reason you want uh, Hydreigon here, or something like, like Hydreigon here, is because we have a very weak Lunala matchup, guys. And Hydreigon's a lot more aggressive than something like Amanda Buzz. Zapdos is a good Pokemon, just not in this team. Like, we're stacking... So Zapdos has that big shared weaknesses over here. Like, the big rocks shared weaknesses of big one. And we already have, like, a ton of fighting resist. So if they want to come out with, like, a big, like, superpower, I can go switch to this, switch to this, switch to this, switch to this. So, like, the, the Hydreigon just has a lot more. Yeah, Dark Sea Hydreigon hits super hard. I agree it does. Um, I'm actually using a really unique Lele set here. We're going to use Specs Lele today. I think I want to go Psychic and... I think I'm just gonna blast, focus blast. I always, I love focus blast, guys. You guys, you guys can't talk me out of it. Do I want the red card here? Do I want the red card here? It's a good question. Can't modest specs let Oko on Boogie Ground on? It can. If you have Psychic. If the last move is, you have to use Psychic to do it. So it can't do it with Psy Shock. But like a U turn plus Psy Shock would be able to. I mean, I know I'm going to have Spore. Uh, I want Clear Smog. There's so many good moves that Amoongus gets, guys. There's so many good ones. I don't know if I want Protect. I mean, Rage Powder is also good, but, like, why do I need it, you know? Amoongus is OP. Amoongus is good. Picking Moongus' moves is hard. Eh, it's not super hard. I think I might actually just sash this. I might I might sash this guy. I'm thinking about putting foul play on it, guys. That's what I'm looking at right now. I'm thinking about foul play. Would foul play be good on a Moongus? What's the format? VGC 2020 doubles. Because I don't actually, like, we'll put Rage Powder here. These two make great uh, synergy, too. Like, Hydreigon and Moongus. Because I want Foul Play. Do you need Foul Play next to Hydreigon? No, no, no. So it's like, no, Grass Knot wouldn't do shit. That would be a waste. 
like you know foul play does more to like a groudon than like grass knot does and i don't oh i'm not always gonna have a hydragon and a moongus on the board at the same time imagine a world where like you could just dumpster a lunala with your amoongus guys that's what i'm looking at here i'm gonna try the foul play i'm gonna try it i'll come back to the evs i want this guy to be sashed all right uh we got dark pulse should probably put snarl there but i'm gonna put the dark pulse and uh i want i want fire blast i want fire blast over heat wave over flamethrower because i want to be able to oko weird shit like let's see fire blast without the sun would be needed to ko like weird vested pokemon uh eh, i could probably just get with the flamethrower we'll see if i need it we'll see if i need it who knows all right, so we're building our move sets. I think I'm gonna go physical Groudon today. Do I want Swords Dance? Do I want Swords Dance? I think I'm actually just gonna go Roar. Not Fire Blast, double well. Come back to the EVs when I go to it. Uh, this is gonna be my Z move. I think I want the Moon Guys Beam. That's the move that turns into the super move, right? Moon Guys Beam turns into the one. The Sword and Seal discussion of it was fire, my guy. Oh, thank you. You said change Mothim to special attack nature? No, you need the speed, Chief. You gotta have that speed, otherwise you can't outspeed base 95s. You got a rock setter. This is uh that's not a thing in doubles. Photon geyser. Alright, cool, thank you. Oh, I put moonlight. I mean, so yeah, we need it. Uh, Photon Geyser. So right now, it's looking like my uh, Incineroar matchup is a little weak. Maybe we cut this for something that checks Incineroar a little bit better. Let me go back to my tail one page. Back to the tail one page. You can keep the speed, the speed by moving the EVs over to speed. Uh... The EV, what are you saying? Move the EVs from what? You know? Move them from special attack to speed until you hit 108 speed. I don't think that makes your Mothim any stronger. I don't think that would help at all. Let's go. Let's check it. So you're saying... Put this here. So it's 146. And so I would need like... I'd need like 172. Wait. Yeah, you're right. Yo, it's almost like you play the game. Yeah, you're right. That's a, that is better. Just barely. Because this is the old one. It's 146. And this is actually a little bit better. Yo, nature's a big, big improvement. It's a little bit fat. It's a little bit stronger. Awesome. Thank you. What's your opinion on Pokemon Master? Did you play it yet? No, my phone can't play it. Every little bit counts. Yeah, dude. Thank you. That's actually really, really cool. Yeah, see, so even I'm not perfect, guys. Like, these are just ideas that pop into my head. But, like, that's why we're streaming this live. So, like, you guys got to keep me honest. You know, you guys, guys got to keep me honest. All right. Um. So, yeah. Mothim got a couple more points in its special attack. I like that. I'll come to the EVs later. Come to the EVs later. I don't... <laughs> I have two photon guys there as well. See, like, I don't know if I want Earth Power here because I don't actually think it's that big of a deal for having Incineroar. I want Trick Room for sure. And so, like, that's why I want my Tailwind Setter to be something that can kind of work in both. Let's sit on this. I'm serious. What if we sit on this? Like, look at this Pokemon. Yeah, dude, sign me up. I know I have a Lele, but, like, Lele's not always going to be there. I'll mess with the moveset in a moment. I should probably put Protect on it, but it's kind of cool. All right, so EVs are done. EVs need to be done. EVs need to be done. EVs need to be done. Does it get Encore? No, it doesn't. I know I did got faint. I mean, I, I used to know that. I just forgot. I don't know what item I want here. I think I want Sash on this Amunga set, actually. What 
What would be better, though? I mean, we're gonna have a... What does Faint do again? It goes through, protects, and wide guards. We're gonna put Regenerator there. Let me think about this. I'm not using a Sash, so I think I'm just gonna throw the Sash there. Let's do Groudon's EVs first. No, I'm not, do I want that? That's too big. That's too much. I know I need a little bit of attack, because uh, this. I know if you have like over 60 uh, and you go through, if you get intimidated, you actually get like a big boost. I'm going to sit on that for now. I think I killed 68 attack, Adamus of a 2 co incident minus 1. Yeah, that's what, that's the, see, yeah, he's like right on top. I was like, I know if you're at minus 1, you get a really good value calc off of, uh, off of having over 60. So yeah. That's why I'm putting a little bit more. Alright, and I just don't know what this last two moves are going to be, you know? I don't need two Photon Geysers, but like... We've improved our Sin matchup. I think you just go Moonguys Beam, right? Let's go Moonguys Beam. Moonguys Beam's like a really, really good move. Oh shit, this one doesn't get Moonguys Beam, it gets a Sunsteel Strike. Oh, that move sucks. I guess, yeah, we just go Earth Power then. Heat wave, that's kind of cool. I guess I'll just go protect. I don't really want to. It's alright. I think the I think that the set people just do on this guy is like this. And I, I haven't really played that much with this Pokemon, so I'm just gonna go with that. I should probably just go like uh Dom Wings, but Maybe I should just go Domlings then. Because that would just get around like fake outs. And I wouldn't have to bring the layaway. Because I wanted to go Moon Guy Speed. Ever used the Miss Magus? I have. All right, so then we're back to this. Which means I could I could put protect here. I'm just gonna put protect there. And I know we're going like trick room on the full speed. It's whatever, guys. Alright. Let's see. UCFN, how's it going, friend? Yeah, this is a weird one here. I know I want this. But, like, I don't know where I want all my stats to go. Like, there isn't actually anything wrong with just doing this. Because this makes you fucking bulky as shit. And the reason you want to go points in the HP over points in, like, your defense or your specialty is because, like, it helps you mitigate a lot of that damage. Because, like, instead of being higher points in defense, you actually have a lower base HP. You give, you can mitigate uh, just, just as much damage by going the points in HP, but also gives you, like, a ton more special bulk as well. Yo, Pokemon, how's it going? Found with the 68 attack adamant does. It's enough to Huko standards learn at neutral. That's the that's the value. I think we're just gonna sit on this. I really want to use a specs Leo. I've been wanting to use one for a hot minute. I'm just gonna sit on that. If it works, that's cool. Uh, always forget or always remember to put zero speed on your Amoongus's, guys. Chris Mog's a special attack, right? Perfect. Right. I mean, 
doesn't really matter which one I do because I'm sashed, but like. This is a set that I've just used a lot. Make sure it's the right one. Yep. I've just used this set a bunch of times before. There we go. Forgot to always. I said it, bro. I said always. Don't forget to put points out of. Make, do like a speed reduced nature, take points out, and I change the nature. Oh, well. Right, this guy's going to be a weird one. I feel a good score is naturally bulky enough. And I want to be a plus speed nature. So, like, I can sp at least speed tie other Lele's in a tailwind. But I don't think I have to. Like, I don't think I need that luxury. I don't think I need it. I mean, I want to do this just because, yo, know, we're I'm grinding. It's time to deal some damage, boys. But like, how much HP investment do I need? If I have 95 base, like 115 doubles is like still enough. I don't think I actually need any points in speed. I'm gonna put uh 12. Uh, so I can outspeed like speed creepers 95s and base 96 speed Pokemon. I actually just think I'm gonna go like. I think we're just gonna do that. All right, cool. All right, we got the team, guys. We got Mothim, Primal Groudon, we got Don Wings Necrozma, Lele, Amoongus, and Gliscor. All right, I'm down. You said you're looking at running a Sash Timid 228 speed Amoongus because you outspeed zero IV nature primals and incense. Yeah, I mean, good luck with that. One cool thing about this team, though, we have Tailwind and Trick Room. So we can, like, Trick Room over here. You know, this thing's actually pretty decent still in Trick Room. This, even though it's Scarf, like, these are kind of made for TR and Tailwind. Like, they're made for both. So hopefully you can win some games. Well, let's go into the games. Oh, man. Look at that team, guys. Look at that team. Kang! The Kang train. Man, he has the real, he has the real Gliscor. <laughs> Note that I'm using Hypercutter on, for a reason on this guy. Hypercutter is such an underrated ability on Gliscor. Uh, it makes it so, like, you can't get, like, your Intimidates don't matter. So, like, Gliscor is always going to do what it's supposed to do, and I really like that. Hypercutter Pokemon are very underrated. But we got to use Mothim, guys. we got to use Mothim. This guy's team is hella serious, too. Uh, I, I think we should be Trick Rooming here. I mean, that Smeargle is just a pain in the ass, right? I think I'm going to go Necrozma and Amoongus. And I'm going to go for a TR. I think I, I think that's the only way I actually win. We have to bring the Moth in because that's what the team's supposed to do, even though it's, like, hot garbage here. Maybe I'll trick him into, like, making his Ditto turn into Moth in. And I think we should still bring Groudon, but, like, I know he's packing that Lando. Oh, let's go. This is going to be damn near impossible. I forgot my rating's pretty high. So, we'll see what we got. We should be able to Rage Powder. But he can also, like, follow me as well. So, like, it's going to be a little bit, like... Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to go TR and, uh... I'm going to play Greedy. Yeah, let's play a little bit Greedy. Fake out. That's fine, Chief. Tailwind. Hey! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> TR get wrecked, Moody. That attack boost and a defense drop. So, um, I mean, I could just dumpster that Smeargle right now. This doesn't ignore like the Prism Armor, right? It doesn't ignore it. Follow me, yep. Take that. Hey, Z move. Hey, where are you looking, Chief? <laughs> Mothim! <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> I'll take that. Room's not gonna last that much longer. Oh, 
Yeah, so we're just gonna take a nice little nap. Protect! Wow, he actually runs Protect on that thing. Very surprising. I mu I did that there so I could uh, pop my Z move whenever I feel like it. Smeagol's gonna wake up relatively soon, guys. Zero, you're getting those evasion drops. Alright, we're just gonna actually uh, geyser the Smeargle and just spore the Lunala. Yeah, but Mothin, man! Came in! This is his last run on Tailwind. So, like, I'll take that, I guess. Yeah, Smeagol's taking a nice little nap. Remember, he already blew his Z move, so I'm in, like, a pretty decent spot. Yeah, there's that Sash. Smeagol's gonna be waking up, like, right now. Oh, wow, it didn't. I'll take it. This is the last turn on TR. Smeargle, right. taking that nap for days, yo. I'm just gonna break this Lunala. Guys, beam beat down. Yep, almost. Tari TR's down. Kang! The Kang train coming in hot. What up? Not much, friend. Like, what do you do here? Bite? Double edge? Oh, holy moly. I think you actually Z move the Unala. And foul play it, like, or, or spore redirect. Because Lunala, if it wakes up or techs, uh, this will still KO through that, and then we could spore the Kang. And if he fake outs, like, yeah, he fake outed it. So, yeah, I just want that thing gone. Peace! Uh, I'm gonna probably switch out my. Ditto! Oh, wow, he actually transformed to that guy. Wow, what, a, what an absolute legend. Yeah, I'm just gonna rage powder it up. Okay. We're trying our best here. Ditto does not have the stats that something like uh, a real Ultra Necrozma would have. I think we're sorry. Doesn't have the Z move, I know, right? At least doesn't have it. There's the geyser. Peace out, Amoongus. <laughs> Loved you. And beam, boys. And I don't think he can one-shot us. Yeah, but that bite's not enough. So, Groudon coming in hot here. And I'm just going to pop that big geyser. I'm actually just going to fire punch. I don't want to miss. Should be enough. Bite. There we go. Yo, I think we did it. Bam. Perfect. We take those all the way to the bank, yo. GG. I can't believe we won that one. Like, we used we used the Botham. Don't say we didn't. The Botham won us the game <laughs> by sacrificing its limp body. All right, another ditto. We fought like two dittos in a row now, but we'll just make them copy Botham. We'll just make them copy our boy. I'm going to leave Botham. What are you going to do about it? If I lead with Mothim, what do you do? You know, you have like a fake out Incineroar, that's fine. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring Gliscor this game. I think Gliscor is actually pretty decent. What does he do against this? Switch to Incin? Like, I can go Mothim, Gliscor, Ultra Necrozma, Groudon. Let's try it. Here we go. Let's try it. We got Mothim on deck, boys. Show me what you're working with, Chief. Show it to me. I want to see it. You and Allah? Never heard of it. Oh, never heard of it. All right. He's going to fake out the damn Mothim. I mean, as he should fake out the damn Mothim. I don't think I want a TR. He's not fake outing this. Try that. It's not amazing, but we'll see if we can get out of it. Ah, oh, he's not fake outing. Ah, 
He's ignoring my boy Mothim. I could have, I could have broke that. All right, that's lame. Yeah, FB baby. No burn, no burn. All right. Let's try it. They say Eevees are coming back? Yeah. I mean, who do you, are you going to hit this? Protect, really. I don't know about that one. Chibi's just knockoffing, right? Snarl. Yeah, that's fine. Yo, I'm a Gliscor, bro. Bro, I'm a Gliscor. Last time I checked. Last time I checked, I'm the I'm Ali G Gliscor. I'm going to show you what I'm working with right now. Oh, my goodness. That's a KO. And you know what? We got another one. Woo! Groundium Z, boys. Gliscor. Making plays for days. Retail winning. Switching in on that flare, but it's like an absolute champion. Yo, 100 big bits. Yo, the poggers. We outspeed this thing, right? I mean, that was my Z move down, but like, this is still... A reason to use one of these over the other? Not really. They're the same. Let's go for it. Show me a protect, Chief. Show me protect. No. Oh shit. This is bad. This is bad. Abort. Oh, he sky dropped me. Yo, good thing I already did that. Sky drop, huh? Oh, I think it's vested. Ow. Oh, he's so big. All right. So we're faster than. No, we're not. We're not faster than the Cocos. We're actually gonna be able to land and do something. He's out of tailwinds. It's time. It's time. All right. Let me think what I'm going to do. I think we're actually going to EQ because we can EQ the Coco and just Electro Web. What do I want to U turn into Groudon? Let me see Mothim. Like, I think U turn's probably the best play. We can just U-turn the Coco. No, wait, we can't. We're actually gonna be stuck up here. Because my tailwind ended. That sucked. I forgot about that. So we're gonna be using a move up here. It doesn't matter what move. Yeah, I go score slower since I have tailwind. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So it doesn't matter what I use. It doesn't matter. Um, let me think about that then. I think there's air slash this guy. Oh my gosh, moth him with the KOs! Showing him what you're working with, Chief. Yo, yo, you love seeing it. You love seeing it, yo. Got that big EQ. EQ, EQ, baby. This guy's like, the fuck is this team? Yo, that's fine, Chief. Where are you looking? Because we got Gliscor coming in hot. Who said you need Landorus? Landorus can't set Tailwind, guys. Didn't get to use Electro Web. Didn't really need it. I, I pretty much just had, like, I pretty much just tricked people. But, like, they thought Mothim was going to be, like, Sash or something weird. And I'm like, nah. We're weird. We kind of just do what we want. Mothim's overpowered. Uh, I think the D Duskman was like really, really, or sorry, the Dom Wings, like Crozma was really, really good. I think Gliscor is actually, this might, this might not really be a Mothim team as much as like a Gliscor VGC 20 team. If we're being realistic, like I think Gliscor was definitely like the MVP. So hopefully you liked it. Uh, if you guys want, I can make a Poke Paste and have that for everybody.